so today we'll be looking at a very important design pattern which is the composite pattern okay so let us see we are packing our luggage there is a big box let's say the outermost box and there are some boxes inside it so we are packing some three boxes let's say inside it one two three and some boxes inside those boxes so these two boxes are present inside this bigger box and so on like this box is present in this and then this so these are recursively nested these boxes are okay so let's call the innermost boxes the leaf boxes this one this one so they does not contain any further boxes inside them and the out the any other boxes which contain one or more boxes inside them as internal nodes or internal boxes maybe so these are leaf boxes so this is similar to the uh, computer science representation of a tree in which these are called internal nodes these are called leaf nodes okay so what is the basics of this composite design pattern we want to uh, express the leaf nodes and internal nodes in a uniform manner that is we don't want to def the user to know uh, the difference among them so the user is offered the functionality in form of this component so this is the user client the client knows about this component interface or abstract class so this is the uniform interface provided to client so client does not know whether the one who is implementing this interface is a leaf or a composite so client interacts with both leaf and composite through this component interface so both leaf and composite are component to the client so client looks at both of them as a component so what is the difference so a component can contain one or more oh sorry a composite can contain one or more components those components can be composite again that is uh, they can also have more components among uh, inside them or they can the recursion can end and they can be a leaf so we can move on this cycle as long as we want and when we end we reach a leaf okay i think you got the idea so in a component operation add a component remove a component get child all these things are meaningless adding a component is meaningful only for a composite because in leaf we can't add components inside a leaf we can add more boxes inside a uh, composite box only leaf box we can't add anything inside it it is the last one okay so add remove these make sense only for composite so they are not uh, overridden here so we provide a usual implementation of these uh, add remove get child these methods in this one but a component can be a leaf also a composite also so here we are not sure whether the component is a leaf or a composite in the parent class we are not sure about that so here all the default implementation of these methods either we can leave them unimplemented or we can provide a default implementation if we leave them unimplemented we have to implement them in leaf so here we have to say that these operations are not supported so better we implement them here only make component and extract class and we implement them in such a way that all these methods do nothing but just one thing they throw an unsupported operation exception so i think the uh, things will become more clear once we uh, look at the code so let's look at the code so uh, this is the box component which is this one so this is the abstract class from which both box leaf and uh, box composite will inherit so it is having add method remove method get child get name get description get price get weight print all these methods it is having but it is having default implementation for each of them so throw new unsupported operation exception each of these throws a unsupported operation exception
that means if my child leave or uh, my child compose it they are supporting this operation add operation it's fine they define their own implementation but leaf will not support an add operation so it will use my implementation its parent implementation only so composite will override this method while leaf will use it as it is that's the main funda uh, now let's quickly look at the default implementation for uh, this method which is the default implementation of this class which is a box item class which represents a leaf box okay it's a single item so uh, here in a box item the name description weight price are initialized in the constructor the getters are defined usual implementation you can also define setters if you want and there is a print method so only one method we are overriding add remove those methods does not make sense for a box item i am repeating again and again so only this print method makes sense and we are printing the name weight price description of the leaf box that's all now let's see the uh, implementation for our box that is this is the box composite class we can write is box composite as well so it is also extending the box component as you can see okay and it is internally maintaining an array list of box components and other things are same name description are same so it is internally maintaining in this array list in which it is storing all the in boxes which are present inside that box okay so directly inside that box i mean okay so this is a constructor then the add method you take a box component it can be a composite it can be a leaf as well and you add in your array list that's the add method remove method you remove a box component from your array list box component dot remove box component get child uh you return and you want to get the ith child you return the ith uh element from this array list that's all we can have the getters usual implementation setters as well uh, other than that in the print method you see carefully uh, the name and description of the box are printed first the composite box and within it we are taking a lines gap and then we are iterating over that array list using the iterator over this array list and we are printing the details of the inner boxes as well because a composite is a composite of all the inner boxes as well so in addition to its own details it is good if we print the details of its uh, internal boxes as well so we use iterator dot has next and iterator dot next dot print to print so till iterator has next element is present we print the next elements details we are just calling the print method so it will be going here it will print the name weight price description all these things of all the internal boxes one by one so uh, one more small thing for iterator details please refer to the iterator design pattern video so okay i have made a separate video for the iterator design pattern so uh, please look at that if you are not understanding this piece of code so that should make the things clear so finally the main motto of this composite design pattern is to treat the leaves as well as the composites uniformly thank you friends